is up my friends, my name is Equithrumi and today I have Apophis back on the channel with some last second nail biter clutch battles that he had. We thought it would be a good idea and a lot of fun to share them with you and I'll have you guys know I have not previewed these myself yet so I'm going to be right there with you in the excitement. I thought that it would be fun doing it that way. If you take a look at his stats, there's a little bit of love to him right there and the current deck that he's using is a minor executioner elite barb deck with that rocket. Before I show you these replays guys, I want to thank you all for coming down to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hopefully you decided to subscribe after you watch this and uh, well, let's get into it guys. Here we go with the first replay. We have Apophis on the bottom, working his way up. He's got that miner on the left hand tower. It's countered by the opponent's minions which are going to take that miner out pretty quickly and now the opponent has a royal giant minion push right here. Pretty solid push. Those minions are working on Apophis' elite barbarians and the uh, royal giant beat up his tower pretty good. Now he still has to deal with those minions incoming. His dart gob does a nice job of doing that as well as that ice wizard that was approaching the bridge. Two minutes and 22 seconds left. Fairly even round so far guys. Now it is worth noting, Apophis is a level 12, he's playing against a level 11, so the opponent has a little bit, a uh, little less hit points on his tower, but it's still a lot of fun to watch, which is why, uh, why we're doing this. Where's that tornado? There we go. Activate that King's Tower, and an Ice Spirit on that bomber to slow him down so that we don't take too much damage from that bomber. He did take quite a bit of damage. Those bombers deal quite a bit. They're pretty strong if they get onto your tower, so you want to stop that as soon as you can. Miner, Dart Gob, nope. That uh, Royal Giant, nice job countering right there by Black Ops Spy from the Infamous Clan. Elite Barb's working on the Royal Giant, logged everything back. Elite Barb's gonna beat on that bomber and then at that Ice Wizard, get a few shots on him before the Elite Barb is taken out. Oh, now there's a Hog Rider Ice Wizard push. Another Tornado, good play. Keeping him in the center, not allowing that Hog Rider to get to the tower. Plus, since that center tower is activated, that's one more cannon on the playing field. Apophis up the left hand lane with that miner on the opposite side this time so he had a few more shots before those minions hit home. Dart Goblin again in to clear out those incoming minions along with the tower. Here he goes with the Executioner up the right hand lane. Ice Wizard coming. Elite Barbs are going to be dropped on top of that Royal Giant. They're nadoed back, logged back, and then Executioner is going to work on all of them all together. Really nice defense right there. Miner, Ice Spirit, and he has the Barbarians. Is he going to use a rocket on them? No, he's not going to rocket. I thought he may take them all out with that rocket, but that's not the case. Here we go, Dart Gob on that um, Hog and the Tornado spell as well. Nicely played. Look at this Dart Goblin. Just get some work done. Really a solid little troop right there. Elite Barbs on the Royal Giant yet again. Is he going to... How's he going to get rid of them? It's pretty close right here, guys. 187 hit points left on that tower. It's going to overtime. He's got the rocket and the miner on the tower. Boom! There we go. That was a last second win. One second different. And Black Ops Spy would have had the win with that incoming fireball. Beautiful clutch last second rocket Apophis. There's one more replay I have for you guys which I'm going to show you right now. Let's jump into it and like I said I haven't seen this one first. Here we go a level 12 versus a level 12. He's playing against 8245. He's got that rocket elite barbs, NATO and the ice spirit in his starting hand. Really not the best starting hand at all. Barbarians played by the opponent. And he's going to split his elite barbs to work on those incoming max level barbarians. That was probably a very smart play right there. Counter them pretty well and uh, be able to cycle through his cards to get a better starting hand. And the opponent's doing the same thing, cycling through. And as you can see right here, the opponent had maxed out barbarians, maxed out goblins, and uh, level 12 spear gobs, level 10 hogs. So a very solid you know, really high high level cards he has right here, this opponent he's playing against. Level 12 Fire Spirits. He's going to eat those right there, guys. He's getting ready with that Miner. What's he going to do? 
He's got the Miner incoming. The Rocket's going to work on those Barbarians. Is it going to be like that? Is that the play? He gets three of the four. Very nice play right there. Ice Spirit in on those Goblins. Tornado sucks everything into the center, and all three towers are working on the Hog. The Barbarian is going to make his way to the tower, though, unfortunately. Logged back the Barbarian, and those Spear Goblins are taken out by the Log as well. He's a little low on Elixir now, so it's time to build back up. He's got the Elite Barbs ready to go. Executioner, everything's ready to go here to defend. Spirits are in yet again. Dart Gob is going to help take two of them out. One does make it to the tower. Mine are in, slapping around that tower. Dart Goblin working on the other goblins and the Minion Horde by the opponent. That's time for the Executioner. Minion Horde means Executioner almost every time. Nice play right there. Now you have a level 6 Executioner pushing that left hand lane. Is he going to rush E Barbs? He's going to rush the E Barbs. Executioner is going to clear the path and he has the log as well. There he goes. Nice play. The Executioner takes it all out. Tornado Executioner is a beast play. Here we go. Goblins are beaten up by that Ice Spirit. They are going to be taken out by the tower or by the log. Dart Gob in on that Hog Rider. Hog Rider taking the tower down to 400 hit points. The Miner's on it. Dart Gob gets on there as well. 1520. He's down by about 1,000 hit points right here, guys. He can't let those hit down, so he throws in the Executioner, pushing Goblins. The Executioner is a great card to have playing against the deck that he's playing against. Lots of bunched up troops. Lots of... Uh, Hoarding type troops, I guess you could say. There we go. Nice play of the uh, tornado spell right there. Those elite barbs are going to get on the tower. One of them did for a brief second. The executioner continuing to do work on that tower. Ice spirits in. Barbarians are slowed by the ice spirit. Miners in on the tower. And uh, the hog is slowed up. Dart gobs on the hog. And there we go. Nice tornado spell as well. Another dart goblin in on the spear goblins. One spear hits down. Wow, this is a close match, guys. This Barbarian is going to be taken out, and here it is. Rocket for Fireball. But the Fireball didn't have enough, leaving the opponent with 15 hit points on Apophis' Tower. That was a lot of fun, guys. Really two clutch last-second wins by Apophis. Let's get a look at his profile again really quickly. There we go. There he is. 4890 cups right now. His all-time high was 4918, and this is the deck that he was just playing, a 3.6 Elixir deck. Really uh, one that I haven't seen around too much, but it seemed to do the job pretty well, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please subscribe and let me know in the comments below because this is definitely something new to the channel. I've never brought to you, you know, clutch last second battles. It was actually Apophis' idea to do it, and I said, why not? Let's give it a go. It is a lot of fun for me to shout as we're seeing it because I don't know what's to come. And, uh, you know, last second battles are just always fun in general. But, guys, if you had a good time, I hope you hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, guys, throw a like and leave a comment. Big shout out to Elite Nation. Thank you guys for all that you do in helping me create my content. I appreciate all of you. And, uh, guys, I hope that you are back here tomorrow with me when I have more Clash of Clans and Clash Royale content. Until then, be good.